Hey everybody, good morning. This is Eleanor with Eleanor's Elite Radio, and I'm so excited today. I have with me uh, Mr. Sandy Neuenberg, uh, who is the administrator for a very fast-growing, wonderful Bravo uh, TV group on Facebook. Um, I'm happy to say that I'm a part of this group as well. Uh, It has it's only been around for like two to three months and already the members are just pouring in like nobody's business uh anyway i have sandy here with me today sandy say hi to everybody hello how is everyone (laughs) good we're good this is kind of early for me and you usually we're just doing coffee just yet just now right That's the truth. It is. It's very early. Anyway, um, Sandy, I'm so grateful that you've given me this phone call. Um, I want to talk about uh, Bravo Obsessed, which is the name of oh, your group. thank you for having me. You're so welcome. So let's talk about Bravo Obsessed. How did you come about with, how did you come about with the group to begin with? Well, I've been a staunch housewife and all Bravo fan for the past 15 years now, starting out with O.C., And that being said, I was a member and a moderator in other groups for quite a long time, loving everything Bravo. Many, many groups talk about Bravo, but they also have other reality shows in that, in that, in their groups. Right. They do not have other reality shows. Right. I strictly stick 100% to Bravo only. I literally am Bravo obsessed, hence the name. So, Housewives have been my thing below deck. Every single show that Bravo airs, I watch at least 20 times until the next episode comes on during the week. So it truly is an obsession of mine. I know everything of the housewives. I simply adore them. And I thought that I would just start, leave the moderator position that I was in and start as an admin in my own group where I could talk freely about anything that we want be it a little risque, saying that someone is not pretty, not having to agree with everyone's opinion. I thought that this sets our group a bit apart from the other groups, that we are more of a free group in stating our opinions of exactly as we feel at the housewife. Exactly. And that's why I was so grateful when my girlfriend added me to your group. Usually I don't like when people do that, but I was very fortunate this one time that she did and grateful because Sandy came uh, to me and asked me if I wanted to be a part of this group. And I'm so glad uh, that I was because I am... I'm just so thrilled about all the Bravo Housewives, although there is a lot that I need to kind of get acquainted with, uh, with some, with some of the franchises, you know, not all of them, but most of them I love and do. Uh, let me ask you, I know you're going back many years with, um, the Bravo franchise, but I also know that you have some personal, um, experiences. Would you like to share that as well? I do. Several years back, I was having a party, two gatherings, actually, and I decided to hire Sonia. It was called, at the time, Sonia in the City. She did a catering for me. Being said, I went to her house a few times, and she had to come to mine. She provided everything from the flowers, the waiters, the bartenders, the food, and she did a phenomenal job. She was absolutely fabulous at it. And for everybody... quirky. And for everybody who doesn't know, Sonia, of course, is Sonia Morgan from The Real Housewives of New York. Go ahead, Sandy. I'm sorry to interrupt. Yes, that's okay. She's a bit quirky. She's a bit eccentric. She's a bit odd. But I loved her dearly. And she did a phenomenal party for me. The food was great. The flowers were great. The waiters were fabulous. She sent men that looked like models. She did a fabulous job. That was my interaction with her. So I did have to go to her brownstone at the time to taste some of the food, okay this, okay that, because she was catering for me. And it was kind of fun. My interaction with her was really fun, I have to say. She is quite exactly as we see her on the show. She is really that way in real life. She's very whimsical, very down-to-earth, and very fun. She will stop and talk to fans in the street as if she knows them for 100 years. There's nothing she doesn't... She's not off-putting at all. She loves when fans approach her. She's a very, very down-to-earth 
Bravo led was, I'm understanding. A lot are not. I don't have that many interactions. I understand some are not, but she is extremely, what we literally see on TV is what we see in real life. You know, she'll go into a restaurant and engage with anybody. She's very firmly so. Yeah. You basically took the next question out of my mouth. So basically, she is what we see on TV. She's real. 110%. I didn't see any errors. I didn't see anything different than I watched her on TV for all the years. Exactly what I saw in person is what I saw on TV, is what I see on TV. She's she's absolutely perfect. She really is. You know, con- she's a very nice Bravo like. Consensus has it. Um, a lot of people, I'm on a lot of different groups, and we talk about, of course, Bravo Housewives, and a lot of people say that Real Housewives is their favorite franchise due to the realness of the characters. Um, you know, there's of course, a lot of people always say reality TV is scripted TV. You know, maybe sometimes they, they, you know, will put in a certain, um, situation that they want to, you know, get a a rise out of. But for the most part, New York, really, I believe you get what you see. That is, that's it. It's the truth for me. I a hundred percent believe in New York. I don't have any other interaction with other housewives that I've seen in person. I just have my opinion on who I think is a little bit more real and a little bit more fake and scripted. That being said, I think New York is one of the most real because I've had an interaction with Bethany. I've had interactions with Ramona. Sadly, I don't have any with Dorinda or Tinsley all the way in, all three in which I'd love to see because I'm a very big Tinsley and Dorinda fan. I've never met them before, but I have with Bethany for years and years and years. I know her very well for many years, and I've met Sonia. That wasn't under the best circumstances. Right. But that being said, they are very real. And Ramona is also what she, you see on TV, how she acts towards people, is really how she acts in real life, sadly. And, and I, do <laughs> say that, sadly. I love She's it that insane. you you're almost taking the words out of my mouth. Like, I can't even get it out. Yes, sadly, that's the truth. She is exactly yes, she the is. way she is on TV. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. She's exactly. In fact, if anything, I think she's a bit nicer on TV than <laughs> I've seen her interact in real life in New York City. She so, really yeah, is hot stuff. She is really what we get. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But she's a character. And if she wasn't, I mean, listen, a lot of housewives on other franchises, I cannot wait for them to leave or hope that they get demoted. In Ramona's case, as much as I'm not a fan of her, I do enjoy her on the show. She adds whatever bit of craziness that she had, but that's the true Ramona. We are seeing the true Ramona, 100%. Absolutely. Now, know, whereas, like on, whereas other housewives, like on Beverly Hills, I think we're seeing a lot of falsities there. I don't think that that's how they really are. Yeah, let's talk about uh, Beverly Hills for a minute, um, because that, I mean, the internet... And social media is just blowing up over this last episode. Um, you know, usually how they close um, the season is like what everybody's doing, how everybody is. But this one took a little bit of a turn. They did it six months later. Six months exactly. later. That took me by surprise when I saw that coming on the screen. It took the world by surprise. It took the world yeah, by surprise. So what do you think was behind that? Well, you know something? I think in light of the, just my opinion, obviously, in the light of LVP leaving, they needed to put a twist on things. And they waited it out so that they were able to, Kyle was able to say she saw Lisa Vanderpump in the, uh, Neiman Marcus um, Lisa Rinna saw her getting her nails done and she came to the parking lot and she was fumbling around for money right. and Lisa Rinna offered her money which was extremely rude of Lisa Rinna because let's face facts here Lisa Rinna is desperate not for money she's desperate for relevance Lisa Vanderpump has so much fans so much notoriety so much success in her life that Lisa Rinna was so rude to say I would have loaned her money when they did her side right. professional exactly whereas Lisa Vanderpump could buy and sell Lisa Rinna 500 times over again. And, so, and the right thing, Sandy, also what was so funny about that, everybody kept saying on that six months later lunch that Kyle gave that, oh, she had a queen, she had a, um, a crown on, a crown on. She had a crown on because she was in Caesar's palace. 
she exactly. didn't yeah she's she didn't, always been referred to the queen as the queen exactly you know you so what was it didn't come as a shock to them they were being very phony about it you would never see lisa vanderpump doing a diaper commercial would you <laughs> exactly and she's not hocking her 29 dollar goods on qpc to try to make money her polyester dusters her Exactly. I haven't heard Harry Hamlin making a movie in years. I haven't heard her doing anything in show business much in years. Whereas Lisa Vanderpump is active with her restaurants and stuff. 24 hours a day, she's got a different project going. Not to mention her very successful Vanderpump rules. And from what the fans know, we don't know exactly, but there's another spinoff in the works for her restaurant at Caesars Palace. Right. So she's got so much going on in her life. She didn't have to need, she doesn't need this paycheck. She was able to walk away. Sadly, I can't say that about the rest of them. No. But I will say this and say this one thing. I am so unbelievably team Camille. She is, she came back as she was season one. With yep. her claws out. She was phenomenal. And how she shut down Teddy was great at Kyle's party. She shut Teddy down so badly. I she love it. Her. She demeaned her, and I loved it. Was I think one of the most gross mistakes that Beverly Hills has ever made was hiring Teddy Mellencamp to yep, be housewife. Yeah, exactly. She does not fit in. She interjects in everything. All she wants to say is she's an accountability coach. Say the truth. Own it. We'll move on. She has no storyline. She is the worst on the housewife. I myself signed a petition that was going around about two months ago that if she's back on the show, they're going to lose hundreds of thousands of fans. She's a terrible, terrible pit on the show. Yeah. She's awful. She's one of the worst housewives I could imagine in Beverly Hills history. And I'm even going back to Brandy, which I am not a Brandy fan at all. And I was so happy when she left. But I'd rather have Brandy. She brought more fun to too. the show. Me too. Me and too. Teddy is like a wet dish rag. She's nothing. She's absolutely nothing. She's the worst housewife ever. I cannot believe what she wore to that afternoon tea. Everybody, it was almost like it was thrown together, like in five minutes, and Andy Cohen got on the phone and said, okay, this is what we need to do <laughs> to clear up and put closure oh on my this. God, absolutely. She and came you know, over. She is a little bit more dressed. She looks odd because I think she's just copying Kyle's style. She's trying to be another Kyle. Kyle. Yeah. She attached herself to Kyle. She wanted to get Lisa Vanderpump off the show. She succeeded along with Erica, along with Lisa Rinna. They made a pact. I positive they made a pact before the show started that they were going to do everything in their power to get her off, and they did. But sadly, there's not the same chemistry without Lisa Vanderpump. You better believe you it. See. Kyle is good. Don't get me wrong. I don't hate her. But I don't, I used to love her. I'm now, I couldn't care less if she never returns to the show again. Mm -hmm. To me, she has nothing. And how false crocodile tears at the end saying, Yes, she misses the friendship. Yeah. You wouldn't have missed a friendship if you didn't stab your friend in the back. That's right. That's right. And I think she, she did that, Kyle. She went over to Lisa's house that infamous day when they had the argument. Uh, about exactly. calling Radar, which I believe was Lisa Renna. I believe Lisa called Radar. Uh, 100%. That, yeah, I do too. Uh, but I think that one day, all she had to do was to approach it from a different angle, from a friendship angle, but that's not what uh, Kyle exactly. wanted. I believe Kyle and wanted she it. she didn't have to do it, and she did not have to do it on camera. She could have went there privately. Exactly. Before. That close friend. For 10 years, she didn't have to put it out there publicly that she thought Lisa Vanderpump was lying. Whereas Lisa Wynn is the first one to say, every single time, she's the first one to say, I will do anything for money. I'm a hustler. She sold that story to Radar Online. Yeah. She sold that story. No, I she have did. no doubt. Between her and Teddy. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I won't accuse Erica of that because I don't really think Erica, as much as I don't, I'm not a fan of Erica at all, no. and I never was. You see one. now? And I don't think Erica does it. She's no. not as backstabbing as the other women are. Nope, I don't believe she is either. And Erica, I got to say, I know 
she's the, you know, ice queen and nobody's really too thrilled about her because all she talks very gruff. But I have to say, I think Erica is stunning. Oh my gosh. Uh, she, I will oh. say there was a certain time she looked absolutely gorgeous. Oh my I God. Mean, I, wouldn't take look, I wouldn't take her looks away from her. She definitely looks beautiful. I mean, the outfits, very... the outfits are out there. Those Gucci, animal print, crazy, ridiculous <laughs> outfits are out there. <laughs> Absolutely. But she uh, is so beautiful. Said, she is beautiful, and I do feel she's got some genuine 